your drumstick. Hello, this is Ear Trash, and this is going to be a track overview on my latest track, This Is Not Drumstep. Um, in this video, I'm basically going to be explaining all the processes I made, uh, or used, sorry, for making this track. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to get into it. So I'm just going to start from the top here. Um, I've got a Tom's track, and this is just a Tom sample. And I've got the transposition automated so that it makes this sound. I'll just solo it. Um, and then it's got a bit of reverb on it there as well, just to kind of um, give it a bit more uh, length. That's what she said. Um, then I've got, what have we got here? This is a sample from the Mighty Bush, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, you'd never be actually hear it. And these are in no specific order. Um, I just kind of like, every time I add a new sample, I just sort of put it at the top. Um, so, just worth noting. Um, yeah, so I'll just let you hear what this is. <laughs> and uh, like in the context of the tune like that you just you can't really tell what that is but um, the actual full length sample is from mighty, the mighty bush eels eels up inside you <laughs> the next one ear trash I think this is the vocals sample I believe and this was recorded I've actually done a tutorial on how I did this on my second channel how to Ableton so I'll put a link in the description for that so you can see how I actually made this voice but I'll, give, I'll let you hear what the voice is doing trash the computer's kind of struggling to record this I think but whatevs um, next one this is uh, just a kick drum on its own um, this is just for like the rises I think yeah, no, no, I, I, um, this is for like adding a bit of um, fatness to the to the kick drum, just to sort of give it a housey feel. Parts of it, uh, kind of going back to the old Skag days. Same kick drum I used for that, I think. But it's quite subtle. It's just to kind of give it a bit of momentum to keep the track going. Uh, and it's on a drum rack, just uh, on its own. So that's the kick drum. Um, Next we've got a sample from Vengeance, just a little rising sort of sound and I've reversed it in bits as well so it's like dropping down. Uh, then I've got a Crash sample, um, I think that's a Prime Loops one by the looks of it. Um, and there'll be, link there'll be links for most of this stuff in the description. Um, what's this one? I haven't labelled this one, what's this? That's just like a vocal, a uh, reverse vocal effect from, I think that's a Vengeance one as well. Uh, next, next I've got a sample from Soft Cell Tainted Love. Um, and I'll let you hear this. And I basically just sampled the little bit that came in before the drums. Um, like I'll, I'll, un I'll unloop this just now so you can hear what it sounds like. But I didn't want the, the second bit, I just wanted this first bit. So I put that on and then I put a fade on it, I think. Yeah, um, if you go into your settings here you can get fades. I just put a fade in so it fades out just before the beat comes in. So that's that. Um, I also put on some reverb and some ping pong delay. Just to make it sound the way it does in the original soft cell song. And um, what have we got here? Uh, <laughs> uh, this one is uh, a recording from a porno. Um, I think it's, uh, actually, uh, it is Jenna Jameson um, taking one in the ass, I believe. <laughs> but uh, I was looking for, I was wanting to get like a sort of sexy sound in it. So. I did a bit of investigation and, <laughs> and uh, got her in it. It's a hard life, eh? <laughs> um, so what's this? I think this is just more effects, is it? 
Yeah, just a wee ride symbol. I think it's it is a Vengeance one, but I think it's just from a classic drum machine. Um, to be honest with you, because a lot of their samples just come from drum machines. Um, this is my drum truck, which I'll go into a bit of detail here. Um, so basically, I've got a, a kick drum from Prime Loop. This is, I basically took a Prime Loop, Prime Loop loop, chopped the bits out that I wanted to do that, were, that I wanted to use rather, and then uh, put them into the drum rack like this. Um, I've got a hi hat there, another hi hat, and I've got a multi one here, and that is what's in this multi. It, it's a snare and a clap. And I've got them both on the same MIDI note. So when you go into your list here, ins and outs, you can choose what notes. I've got them both being triggered by the same notes, so they're always going to play together. And the benefit of doing that is you don't need to put in two MIDI notes, you can just put in one MIDI note. And you can see here it's like BPM 140, Fatty, Snare and Clap. So that one MIDI note, MIDI note is going to launch two. Uh, what have we got after that? Uh, have we got effects on this? Yeah, we've got a mixed gel compressor and just a spectrum analyzer so I could see what I was doing because I think some of these have, these have got EQs on them as well. Now that one's just standard uh, the clap. Yeah, I haven't really done much EQ on them. Um, when, this, when this song actually goes to the record label, I think they're probably going to put some EQ and stuff on it. But I was quite happy with the way they sound just now, just give you a listen. And again, the sound quality is going to be quite bad because the recording is kind of choppy, like, but uh, what devs. Uh, next, I've got another uh, another instance of the same drum rack, I believe. Or uh, actually, I've just got the kick drum, and this is to accompany the fat kick here for the rise. Um, I've got a sample in there as well, yeah, this one here. That is a sample from Nirvana Smells Like Teen Spit It. Um, and I have put a filter on it and some other effects just to kind of give it a uh, sort of obscurity. Didn't want to sound like I'll turn, all the, I'll turn all these off by select them all, control G, grouping them, then turn them off. So you can kind of hear that it's kind of a bit time stretched, but no big deal. And I put the effects on it, and it's kind of softened it up a bit and made it sound a bit more digital, I think. Um, right, I've got another drum rank here. I've got Lanchy Manchies as a sample from South Park. When I was making the tune, I just thought oh, I'm gonna add. I just that word came to my head from. <laughs> from that uh, episode of South Park, so I just thought I'm going to throw that in there for the banter. Lunchy munchies! <laughs> uh, it just it sounds so funny, I think. You blokes know what's for lunch today. <laughs> Lunchy munchies! Mm? Go away! <laughs> Cracks me up. Um, so we've got that, and what was this? We've got a drum rack here that's just for rides. Um, I like to do that just so I can EQ them themselves and you can see I've got a rather bizarre EQ in this, but um, it kind of works. And this isn't a random EQ, um, I've decided I want to drop out all the lows, I want to give the high a bit of boost. There was a problematic fre frequency here, so I, I found, uh, I isolated the problem problematic frequency and then dropped it down. So that uh, it was no longer a problem. Right, this video is getting a bit too long, um, so I'm going to have to split it into two parts. So if you could please give the video a like and check out part two, that would be much appreciated. Cheers, bye-bye.